Ronnie, congratulations. How does it feel to be the MP for Inderclyde? Well, it's a very new feeling. I'm not quite used to it yet. Obviously, uh, I'm aware there's a huge task to be done here. I'm very proud to be sort of taking on that position. And it's, it's a great honour to represent Inverclyde. I hope for the next five years I'll be able to do that uh, to the very best of my ability because it's, it's a big job to be done here. I said we've got 80 years of, of labour waste here and I've got to step up to that now. Uh, I'm happy to do that and I think uh, engaging with as many of the communities across Inverclyde as I possibly can and, and do a lot of listening to what these people are saying and see how we can take this area forward. What will be your priorities now that you are the MP for Inverclyde? I'd really like to see a bigger vision for the area. And that means we've got Labour on council. I've got to work with these guys and they've got to work with me. We've got Labour at MSP as well. We've got to get beyond all that and say, look at this area, what can we collectively do? And bring pressure on governments and local bodies to, to put money into here and put resources into here. And if we do a job for Inverclyde, we do a job for the community, everybody benefits from that. So that's got to be the priority. What has happened in Scotland that, that, that has produced this result we're seeing across Scotland tonight? You've won in Inverclyde, the SNP appear to be sweeping the board across Scotland. What's happened? What's changed? I think during the referendum campaign, a lot of people in Scotland got more politically aware and they've stepped up to it and they've realised that they can make a difference. We got close here in Inverclyde to 86 votes. And I think people thought, okay, we can do that, we can get there. I think the referendum campaign has given the people a voice and the Scottish National Party has listened to that voice. I mean, we, we lost the referendum, but we've been winning ever since. And when you go to uh, Westminster, you're going to be part of a very large group of SNP MPs. What do you see that group trying to achieve? Well, we said in the campaign that the, the, the more SNP MPs we return to Westminster, the louder a voice we can give to the people of Scotland, the louder a voice we give to the people of Scotland, the louder a voice I can give to Inverclyde. Ronnie, thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure.